Bless the bottle. Bless the bottle. Saucy. What up, boy? Yeah, yeah. I'm on that drink. I'm looking for stifflers, mom. I'm drunk in a photo bomb. What you say? Hey, I splash on your bitch with that water. Splash, splash. She still did like I told her. All right. Y'all know what this is. Do I even have to say it? You see it. You see it. King Siege TV with the exclusive. I don't know, man. I might be hustling backwards after this, man. I, I don't think it gets no bigger than this right here, man. Bass boy. What it ain't, man. So. Radio bass is in this motherfucker. Can I have a fan moment? Yeah. Am I allowed to have a fan moment? Cause somebody bring me the bottle. Bring me the bottle. Let's bless this motherfucker. Ah! Hell yeah. We in here. Radio. What's good, man? You tell me, man. Everything, man. For sh shit. Everything. I'm just blessed to be in this little position, man. I'm posted. I'm just. It's, it's a little hot. This this is making me a whole lot better. Can't get no better right now. It's, it's good. All right, man. So we finna jump right into this, man. For Let's the jump into it up here first. For the motherfucking people. What in the hell? This is what I always wanted to know. Bass. Where mm -hmm. did the name Radio Bass come from? Man? The bass? It came from a. Uh, you ever seen uh, Do the Right Thing? Yeah. 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 That's basically about it. Uh, all my um, all my brothers. I have a lot of brothers, so you know, uh, if you had those siblings in the house that uh, like when you go to the movies, we all be like, I'm this character, I'm this character, I'm this character, I'm this character. Like say, all my brothers when you go see, see Ninja Turtles, we all call out who he is. Mm -hmm. We all used to watch this movie, so it was all like, nigga, that's me, that's me, and do the right thing. You feel me? So I ended up being radio because radio I can listen to the same song <laughs> over and over and over and over. I don't care what it is. Like, I've been listening to Childish Gambino for like months. I can listen to it all day. Like just one song. I don't care. If one song, once I hear it, I can just listen to it. So and everybody known that since I was little. So when radio came, all you do is listen to that shit. Everybody was like, oh yeah, that's you. And it just stuck when rap started. Because it was it was a name before rap. Feel me? So when the rap came, it was just like, there you go. It's so right. how did the bass get attached? The bass came near because skateboard. Oh, oh, Like, it's just basic high lifestyle when it comes to skateboards between it's dirty and clean. And um, Lil V started it, and it's basically just like fresh haircut, dirty vans, or fresh haircut, nappy hair, or mm. you feel me? Like, mm. it's grimy but clean, or it's like, it's like, you feel me? My car is clean as fuck, but I got holes in my jeans because I was just skating. You feel me? Type of shit like okay, that. Okay, okay. So, if you look at the base of the <laughs> Bay Area movement, that's what I'm about, about, about to say. I want to say, nigga, you sound real turfed out, nigga. This the way I was raised right here, man. Yeah. All right, well, check this out. Let me hit you with a combo. Mm -hmm. What started you rapping? And how long you been rapping? Uh, the starting rap is my brother. Um, my brother Smooth. He uh, he make beats. He he, he made he actually made Blessed Bottle beat. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, so, okay. Um, and a lot of these recording that you probably wouldn't even notice because he don't tag himself because he's just one, he's not, he don't like spotlight. Hmm. He, you know, he likes the paper. He make more paper than I do, <laughs> but he don't like the spotlight. Okay. So it's like, he don't, you don't, you've never seen him at a club with me, party, none of that. Like you've probably seen a group of my other brothers like on the internet or, or video shoots. And you know, you've seen all my brothers in probably a film, but him. He just duck off, be in a dungeon, make his beats, go somewhere. So. He, he he started on this thing on Fruity Loops when I was coming home from school. So I was coming home from school every day, and then this nigga was just he's like, nigga, I got this program, these beats. Nigga, every time I came home, the beat got better and better and better and better and better. So all the beats was trash. Like all the beats, was, I came in, I was like, that's tight. Like I didn't even think about nothing rapping or nothing. He was just making the beats. So when um, one day. I came home, it was some hard, it was a little little joint, had a little ring to it. I was like, oh, this hard. I listened to it, he's like, you should try to rap to it, bro. I was like, no. Went to the house, <laughs> went in the house, went to school the next day, came back to beat, he 
added stuff to the beat. The beat was better. I was like, oh, this hard. He's like, nigga, come on, man. Just we got we had like a little karaoke mic and all that. And he was like, I was like, all right. She was weak. I, I recorded it. Oh, the karaoke, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Karaoke. Real shit, real yeah, shit. Real shit. All right, okay. Hip hop, yeah. hip hop. We got it from uh, <laughs> we got it from the uh, Target. It was a nice little Samsung um, uh, karaoke mic. He just plugged it up. We had Audacity and we had uh, and Free Loops. And then we had the the the, the uh, demo Free Loops, so we couldn't save none we did. So once the Free Loops closed, we had the MP3 and we had what we had. So I recorded it. He put some little EQs behind it, and that was it. It was called What You Wearing. And that was it. It was like like you feel me with clothes we got on and shit. And that was it. And he. That shit was cool. And How it, long ago was, was this? How long ago was this? Mm, I would say five. Five years. Five years? That's yeah, it? Five years, yeah. Five, six. Six. Six, if I'm being correct. Six. Six. Mm, 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 mm. Nope, I lied again. Seven. Let's seven. seven. Okay, there okay. Seven. Okay. So seven, did the track. Didn't even look back after that. I didn't like start recording every day. I wasn't that, I, like it didn't happen like that for me. Like I was just like, nigga, I'm a rapper. Recording every day. Make a song. And I was still on skateboard every day, like, you feel me, like, this, mm. this, is whatever. But then I started making more music and more skateboarding, but it was related to skateboard. Yo! When I ollie, I love that sound. Love that sound. Kickflip shawty, I run my town. You know they Power slide, four wheels on the ground. Wheels on the ground. Oh, grandma, nigga, I get right. So the music I was making was for the homies, it was for the people I'm around every day. Like, man, come here, this shit, nigga, this is just us, nigga, this is what we be doing. Heard it, they start feeling it. And then little by little, I just started making more music that was still skate related, though. And they finally like, stop doing skates, you just do a song. And then I did a song, I don't know what, yeah, I don't know what the song was. And I just start rapping. And yeah, it was in, still talk about my skating back in the end, just play it with my lifestyle, but it was, I was a rapper then, you, know, you feel me? So, All right, so, yeah. I, I heard you speak on some things, man, and I was gonna ask you about your influences, man. Mm -hmm. um, so I see that you do have some serious Bay influences. Now here's what caught my attention. A couple days ago. Okay. Twitter. Okay. Somebody tweets out. Uh -huh. Radio Bass is the Mac Dre of our time. <laughs> yeah. And, hey, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I sat back. Before I retweeted, I just I just stared at it for a minute. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, 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 because I, I'm from the Bay. Word, that's uh, Southside, Richmond, California. Word. I'm a real hip hop connoisseur, man. I'm on some hip hop shit. So with all truth being spoken, when I had to sit back and I thought about it, and I looked at it. Yeah, that's deep, and that's love coming from you, cause yeah. anybody up there coming from it, cause. Ben and I'm signed to a, a Bay Area artist. I'm around Bay Area. Don't say nothing yet. We're going to get into yeah. that. We're going to get into that like, later. But I'm, now I'm around <laughs> Bay Area artists everywhere. Like everywhere I'm at or like studio wise, it's like that's who I'm with. So, and I get the same thing. And I've, and before being with them, I've never been there. I've never went. I've never seen the city. Mm -hmm. I just, you feel me, listen to the music and I was here. You feel me? Never even stepped foot in the Bay. So to hear it is like, dang. Now, that's KJS is my witness back there. When I got hip to what was going on out here in the IE, especially in the Rainbow Valley, I said, oh, these niggas is turfed out. Mm. These niggas, this is like home. <laughs> 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 like, these niggas get down like the bay. You know, and I think it's beautiful. I think it's um freaking beautiful, man, but let's switch gears for a minute. Okay. You've been holding it down, in my opinion, like the legendary Dre, but in your own right. Makes sense. In your own right, yeah. you are you. Yeah. I've been looking at you from afar and saying, man, this guy's about the astral plane up out of here. Right? That's love, for sure, for sure. And with all this going on, record after record, show after show, friend after friend, now we're in the controversy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Former affiliate of yours. Right. Right. You guys have been having some back and forth. I've been one of the first ones to chime in, give my opinion, try to do some lightweight coverage of the situation. Yeah, yeah. Where did, where did shit come from, man? What, what, in your opinion, or from your side of the coin, how did this shit even start? 
uh, it's like I want to put it as it first started when it, it when when money hits the hits the uh, hits the ceiling, and that's when that's for anybody. Mm -hmm. And then I've sat back and I've watched. Like, it's happened to me twice, and it's happened with uh, this collective I had, Mike Mob, and then the second time. Okay, because I wanted to go into yeah, that also. Yeah, so right. we can do two and one. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's like it's happened to me because I can't. I can't, um, what's the word? Um, I can't, like, I can't stop. Like, it's like, you know, it's like when I, when I just start, just when I just start moving, it don't stop. It's, it's momentum. Mm -hmm. And the momentum starts at a hill top. You feel me? And just boom. And if those other people's not on those momentum, they, 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 they start slowing up and they don't, they don't get why they're slowing up because they're, they're you sitting, they sitting right next to me. Physically, they sitting right next to me. But it's like, I've watched, you feel me, even documentaries, movies, or whatever. You can't um, make the other person you. You can't make the other person a star. You can't make the other person just exactly the same. Everybody has their own journey, their own story. Mm -hmm. So it's like from watching Ray Charles, James Brown, to the Jacksons, to whoever, they excel at a different rate because of who they are. Like I remember I watched this scene with James Brown, and he was thick with the team, thick. And one day, the label called him in there and was like, hey, we want you, not them. And they was hot. It's not his fault. It's not James' fault. Why are y'all mad at James? Because James didn't do nothing <laughs> but be James. Why are y'all mad? And he was hot. He was like, get off me. It's like, you feel me? And James was just like, I knew it the day I was born. <laughs> <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, you just know, like, like you feel me it's not my fault and it's not the fact like and then it's not like i'm like i'm and i still take james way like i'm still like me i'm still finna put you on these tracks people saying we finna boom 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 but it still doesn't cat register to the other person that like, i'm still trying to you feel me keep us all together because i know what you can do for the person we're talking about i know what he can do nigga. this nigga i've i've mentored the nigga i molded the nigga, the nigga is nice you feel me? But he's he's just he's a fucking idiot. <laughs> he's not. He didn't listen. So it's like I can't do nothing about it. But it's like all right, and I can't mold another one. I can't even lie. So the name, the name, the name. The thing is, the name. We got this big song together, yeah. and my name's not on the song. It's a bottle on the ground, and we finna pound it. So bless the bottle. Keep stepping with the homies that know me. We bless the bottle. Man. Explain the name not on the song. Man. For the people, explain the, the name not on the song. The reason being was um he wasn't already rocking me uh, for the song I was already about I mean not I mean as a team for about nine months, right? So like he already didn't um join another group. He already then you feel me got a new things, stopped coming out to the events I was doing, I couldn't really hit him up to do shows because it was like where we was at. So then I, when I signed, the label knew all this. You feel me? I let him know where the other dude was at, what he was doing, and what it was about. And it's like, so he's not a part of it. Like, yeah. It's like, all right, well, we'll talk about that later. They really talked to me about it later, months later, which is when that happened. It's like, all right, now that you sign, this needs to happen, blah, blah, blah. Being that he's not pressing your, um, he's not helping or like a part of you, whoever isn't, we need to, um, we need to uh, um, negate them. They need to, you feel me? Get they, they can't, they can't cuss. They, what, what made them upset? What made them bring it to the attention is because they saw a post of uh, of him posting it, and then it mm. said it, and it said, you know, everything it said, bus bottle, boom, 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 everything was on there. But he's not rocking with me, right? So they see it, and because they they stay on my they stay on my social media. Every my whole label is on my social media. They making sure that. Um, you know, the, I'm getting engagement. They're making sure I'm being talked about. They make, they see, they look at everything. So when they see that, it's like he's not with you, but he's still trying to, you feel me, press this, this, this movement, and they didn't appreciate it. So they have control of everything. Every song between people I didn't rock with, or that I wasn't, that I wasn't gonna be able to marketable, be marketable with, or call mm. them up to do a favor with, they took them off. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. That got real technical, yeah, and, so, that, and that was business. Yeah. I, I, I need you to repeat and reiterate that. 
One more time for, cause I, I like not marketable. Repeat that again? Yeah. They said anything that was not marketable had to go. So if I couldn't call up on the person to say, let's redo this, that, and the other, it had to go. And I couldn't do that at the time. Like I haven't rocked with them or whatever. Mm. I couldn't be like, hey, Hey, they trying to put some new money into this blah, 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 blah. I couldn't do that. So they had, it was like, let it out. It was like, they looked at all my videos. You could call them up if we had to redo this video, put some more money into it, or put a new campaign. I'm like, yeah, I could call him. I could call him. Can't call her. It was, uh, it was, um, um, it was a, uh, my homegirl, Indica Sam. Uh, Indica Sam had a film with me on there. Indica Sam's doing her own thing. See me? She's swagging out. So. I was just like, she's doing her own thing right now. She ain't gonna be bothered with this little freestyle, so I took it out. It took the whole video down, actually. They was going through my stuff. They was just like, this gotta go, this gotta go, this name gotta go. It's so much stuff on oh, there that's gone on my YouTube, YouTube that was YouTube. there that you wouldn't even notice. But he noticed because it was, it was him. Mm -hmm. So name's gone, and then they, they just had to put the focus on radio and knowing that the new one is coming out with me, E40 and Too Short, they wanted to no. put it. Yeah, the new one is being shot. No. The new one is August 17th. Oh my God. Yeah, the new one is August 17th. It's at a church in LA. It's dope. You come down, it's, oh, it's welcome uh, to yeah, the public. I, I have to be Yeah, good. so the oh new one, God. the new one is uh, me, it's uh, 40 and Short. So. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be great dope. look. Yeah, man. stupid. And, and, it's gonna be low key, so, like and no, was, no, not low key, high key. I, you deserve that, bro. Pretty sure. I like you that. just it just looks different. Mm. Your position looks different because you're looking at me in a different position. So you think my position is different, but really, it is. But your position is still the same too.